Hello, I'm going to make this a very short video just to explain exactly how to fill in a truth table. So here I have my truth table that I'm asked to fill in. Essentially, what's going to happen is that I'm going to start off by filling in four statements P and Q. The purpose of this part is to make sure that I have all possible combinations of what can happen with P and Q. So I can have that P is true and Q is true, that P is true and Q is false, that P is false and Q is true, and that they're both false. This often comes in filled in automatically for you, but this is the principle in case you have to do it yourself. So now I have to fill in the next column. This is what I actually should do. I know this P or Q, so what I simply do is I go to my, uh, to my formula booklet, and here I will have P and Q. This coincide is going to be exactly the same, true, 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 false, false, true, false, false. And this is the one that I'm interested in. So I can actually just copy it because these are these come in exactly the same way. So it's going to be true, 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 false. And now for this one here, well, this is how this one is going to work. Well, simply, this is what I have on the second part of the if then. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at the values of this thing here, which I have them here. These are these values of this thing here. And look at the values of P. Hence, let's do it. The first one here. Well, the first one is true. And the second one is true. What happens then? I go here. Well, here's the operator I'm judging for right now, the if then. First one is true. And the second one is true. And what I have to put in is true. Let's go for the next one. The first one is true. The second one is also true. Well, again, I should put true here. Let's go for the next one. First one is false. And the second one is true. See how this is the second one. First one is false. Second one is true. Well, here's my operator. This is what I'm looking at. First one false. Second one true. The result is true. So I just put true here. And this, you know, first one's false, second one is false, they're both false. What do I get here? They're both false. Well, what I get is true. And hence, I've filled up that step of the truth table. Let me do the next one here. So this is not P. So simply, it's going to be the opposite to what I have here. So I put false, 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 sorry, true, true. And now here, I'm going to follow exactly the same principle as before. But the thing about it, now it's inverted. Now I have this one goes first, and this one goes second. So let's see. And judging for this operator, so I'm going to be looking at this column here. So the first one is false, and the second one is true. Let's find it here. This is for this column. First one is false. Here it is. First one is false. Second one is true. What do I get? I get true. First one's false. Second one is true. Well, it's the same one. I get true again. First one's true, second one is true. We saw that earlier on, I get true. First one's true, second one is false. Well, I go here and I realize that, well, the first one's true, second one is false, I get false. And hence, I have completed the truth table. That's what you're supposed to do and how you're supposed to like use your formula booklet to help you fill this one in. Thank you for watching. Hope it helps. Goodbye.